Hey everyone, it's Diabetic Danica, and today's video is going to be all about carb counting. Now, this topic seems kind of like something, I don't know, I didn't really think about doing a video about it until somebody requested it, and actually two different people requested it, and those people are, hopefully I don't mispronounce her name horribly, but Taha Rizvi and Pramita Jezuja. Hopefully that was semi-correct. So here we go. Basically for me, there's kind of three different ways that I learned how to carb count. And so the first two, unfortunately, are more of experience based. So the first main way that I learned how to carb count was through classes at my endocrinologist's office. Basically, there's these carb counting classes where they have fake portions of food and like placards with different plates and different portion sizes. And they kind of just teach you in general what different food portions have in terms of carbs. So for instance, they taught me that one apple of regular size generally has about 15 grams of carbs, a cup of pasta generally has 45 grams of carbs, etc, etc, etc. And they kind of give you these examples of everyday foods so that you kind of know generally what certain foods have. So I definitely recommend those classes if your endocrinologist has those, I would hope that they would. Um, so you can learn way more about that and kind of get some practice with counting general things such as that. The kind of second way that I learned how to carb count was through experience, I guess. So once you have something so many times, and you kind of get used to how many carbs it has, it's going to be so much easier to count that later down the line. So for instance, I like to drink milk with my food and everything, and um, so I just know now that a cup of milk has 13 grams of carbs. It just does. It always does. So I'm not going to go back every time and look on the nutrition facts if I just know it has 13, right? So stuff you have all the time, you're just going to start to memorize how many carbs it has. And so it just comes from experience. After 10 years with diabetes, you just kind of get to know how many carbs certain things has, and even if you haven't had something before, you've probably had something similar, and so I have gotten really good at just guessing. I'll just say like, well, I've had this before, and it was this much, and that kind of looks like this much. I can actually look at a plate and like count all the different things on it individually, add it all together, and I usually get really, really close, actually. I've gotten really good at counting over the years, so just keep practicing, go to those classes, um, look at nutrition facts labels and then you'll get really good at it. So obviously that leads into my third one which is reading the nutrition facts labels. That's how I learned how to count other things of carbs. This should be a given, you know, to find out how many carbs is in something. You should look at the nutrition facts labels. So let's do that right now. So the biggest thing to remember when you're looking at carb counts, I think, personally, the most important thing would be the serving size. It doesn't do you any good to look at a carb count and then not look at the serving size, because that serving size could be anything. It could be the whole box, it could be this much of it, you just don't know how many carbs is in that. So let's look at this as an example. Macaroni and cheese! So this says that the serving size is 2.5 ounces, or about a third of the box, but once you make it, it's going to be about a cup. And that's super important, because maybe you thought, when you looked at this, it says total carb is 47, maybe you thought that was in the whole box, and you're like, Oh, there's only 47 carbs in here, that's pretty cool, I could eat so much food. But no, if you look at the top, it says one cup. So that's very important, there's three servings per container. So to find out how many are in this whole container, what should you do? Multiply it by three, exactly. So take a look at this real quick. Hopefully it focuses, you can kind of see what I'm looking at. So yeah. Let's look at another one. I chose this one because it has fiber in it, and fiber kind of adds another element to this. You're actually supposed to subtract dietary fiber, and it, it'll be listed on the Nutrition Facts label, if you live in America at least, under the total carbohydrate, and it'll just say dietary fiber. And this has actually 8 grams, so it's very high in fiber. Fiber affects the uptake of glucose, and so you actually can subtract fiber from the carbs. I was initially told that you're just supposed to subtract all the fiber from the carbs, so for instance, this is 34 grams of carbs in one cup, don't forget the serving size, and the dietary fiber is 8 grams, so it would be 26 grams in a cup. But then I later heard that you're not supposed to subtract the entire dietary fiber. If it's more than 5 grams of dietary fiber, then you cut that in half and you subtract that from the carbs. So for instance, this is 34 grams of carbs with 8 grams of fiber. That's more than 5 grams of fiber. Divide that by 2, it's only 4 grams of fiber. So it would be 34 grams of carbs minus 4 grams of fiber, which is 30 grams of carbs. And that sounds really complicated, but it's really not. So you can do it that way. I tend to just subtract all the fiber, and it's worked pretty well. But I mean, if something's really high in fiber, I could see how that would affect things. So maybe check with your endo and see what they um, suggest, because I'm not a doctor. But I tend to just subtract all the dietary fiber, just in case. And actually, the mac and cheese 
had one gram of fiber, so I had to probably subtract that just because I'm silly like that. So yeah. And when I was on shots, I used to count in groups of 15 carbs because I had carb choices. So like for dinner, I would say have five carb choices, and so I'd count in groups of 15. And so if something was close enough to 15 grams of carb, I would just be like, okay, that's one carb choice. But then I realized later that wasn't very accurate, and so when I switched to the pump, I started doing every single carb. So if it was 17 grams, I wouldn't count that as 15, I would count that as 17. And so I think that really helps if you can, if you're on the pump or on a regimen, you can do that to actually count each individual carb, because it's going to be way more accurate for you. So that's pretty much all I have to say about counting carbs. Thank you for suggesting this video to both of you. I really appreciate the suggestion. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. You can also like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, all that fun stuff. And stay tuned because I'm doing my first ever giveaway! So I wanted to show you something really, really cool I got in the mail the other day. It's this blood glucose meter bag. Isn't it adorable? This was actually sent to me by Sugar Medical Supply to try out and I love it so far. Um, it's just really cute, like I've never had a bag for checking my blood sugar that wasn't just the black one it comes with. And while I've thought about getting like a makeup bag and putting my checker in there just to make it more fun, I was like, but I really don't like taking out my meter to check, I like keeping it in the case, and so I figured the only way to do that is to use the black one it comes with, right? Wrong! This one lets you keep it in the case. Oh my gosh! And the cool thing is that the part that holds your meter is adjustable, so if you look, it's Velcro, and so you can adjust it to how big your meter is. And so I don't have to take out my meter when I check, and I love that. And it also has extra little elastic things. Put my extra lancets here, and I've started trying to control my used test strip problem. If you know me at all, you know that they're everywhere. And so I've been putting them in this little compartment, right there. So hopefully I control the craziness of that, but there's also a pocket in the back. So it's got lots of storage, it's got this little thing if you want to attach it to something. And I just think it's really, really cute. It's a lot of fun just to not have a black one for once and just have something that's fun. And yet still super functional because all my stuff fits the same way as it does in the black one, it's just not in the black one. So the cool thing is that Sugar Medical Supply has offered to do a giveaway on this channel of one of these bags. How exciting is that? So if you want the chance to win one of these glucose meter bags, not necessarily this one, they have a bunch of different designs, I'll link their website below so you can go check them out. They have guy designs too, obviously if you're a guy you don't have to get a flower one. But if you want to have the chance to win one of these, there's three easy steps. The first thing is that you just need to be subscribed to my channel. Obviously I want to give this out to somebody who actually watches my videos, who's one of my die buddies, not some random person coming in. So make sure you're subscribed. Secondly, you need to go like Sugar Medical Supply on Facebook, and you can do this with a link I'll put down below. And so just go like that page, because they're the ones who are so graciously supplying the bag. And then finally, I just want you to leave a comment down below telling me why you kind of want a fun bag, why you're tired of your black bag, why having a fun bag would be so much better. And you can be as creative as you want, it can be as funny as you want, you can enter as many times as you want, you can make as many comments as possible. <laughs> and um, yeah, the winner will be randomly chosen. Probably, I would guess... Probably, like, I don't know, maybe in a couple weeks. I'll tell you when it's closed, though. There'll be an annotation on the screen if the contest is closed, but if there's no annotation, it's currently open, and so please, please enter, and best of luck to you. And just so you know, for shipping reasons, the contest is only open to the U.S. and Canada. So thank you, Sugar Medical Supply, for supplying this and supplying one for the contest as well. I hope you all have fun entering, and I can't wait to read your comments about why you would much rather have a cute bag than a boring black one that comes with your meter. So have an awesome day guys and I'll catch you soon with a new video before Christmas. Bye!